What's going on? Back plugged in again. What's your boy the Prophet Man? So today I have another Bleach Babe Souls video for you guys, and it is a very, very, very important one because we have some very, very crazy news as it regards to uh, an upcoming banner that we have, but and then also some information that I have that isn't exactly in game. Actually, uh, most of it isn't in game, but we'll go ahead and start with the news that is in game. Uh, we do see here that we have the CN Grants Safwi Awakening Selection 2. This will be in game as of tomorrow, and it's going to be lasting from the 18th to the 24th. So, this is going to end the night before the Bankai Live. So, keep that in mind um, if you guys are debating on whether to summon for this character or whether you want to wait to see what's going to be revealed at the Bankai Live, you won't really have that option. So if you're really looking for this character, maybe you don't have a super potion character or whatever reason you'll be trying to summon for him, um, you're going to have to make a decision before we get the news about the Bankai Live stream. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the filler. This Rukia still stands up. She has a God Kit without Havoc. This Kukaku is a decent guild quest character she's a good uh decent guild quest support this udi really doesn't have much usefulness in the game as far as like standard game modes he's yeah he just one of those characters i mean he doesn't have a whole lot of appeal he's decent though but he's not he don't have the crazy appeal he don't you know, he's not going to help you in a very many game modes compared to another character that will do the job better and then you do have C and Grant. So let's just go ahead and take a look at him. He is in a Ron Carkella range with um, his heart as well. So he does have Sharpshooter, um, Emulator, plus Lacerator. Very good for IT and IZ. Havoc, Frenzy, Damage to Burn Enemies 40, 60% damage slash with enemies. That is insane. Increased that of summer chance against mine attribute enemies. So this character as long as you're putting him against mine characters he is going to be really really potent for sure bro increase status summon chance with double ailments and then he does have um 60 percent damage slash rate and then he does a 40 percent damage to burn that's pretty insane to be fair on top of a 40 berserker with frenzy so it's gonna be pretty solid but if you have a character like um Nini, the uh, Christmas one. She is the heart super pot character that we have uh, right now. So, you know, in co op, you can't use both of them. You can only use one. And seeing he doesn't give you regular link slots, he only gives you super mind link slot potions. I think that is a, I think that's pretty bad, to be fair. Like, I, I really just don't like that. But, yeah. Um, an enemy chance. Okay. All right, and then these other characters really ain't too crazy, but I just wanted to go ahead and go over that. Does she say? Okay, Tsukiyomi Hakunen. All right, so let's go ahead to, because we have some information, and I want to, you know, like always, give a shout out to the homies, Hiken and Soul Dex, because they always stay keeping us updated and uh, posting that good content, you know, data mined early, as soon as it comes. So this is what we have here. This is, this might be hard to see, but this is an assist point. I don't know if this is a five-star ticket. It looks like it's a five, like, okay, it's a five-star ticket, but we don't know if it's a gold accessory ticket because we've had those like affiliation five-star tickets and they give you like a gold Yuki. I mean, not a gold, not even a gold Yuki, just a regular five-star item like, um, you know, like a captain's robe or like a wooden sword, and they just give you a five star version. This doesn't, I, we're not sure if this is a gold item in rarity. We're not talking about five star items, we're talking about gold accessories. So we're not sure what type of ticket this will be. But if you guys recall, Kayla did say they were going to add a system that whenever um, veteran players help new players we would get some type of incentive. And I mean, if they're giving out assist point guaranteed five-star tickets, then that's gonna be pretty hot. 
like I said, there's a massive difference from a golden accessory and a five star accessory. Golden accessories can only be acquired through summons and standard five star accessories can be made through fusion. So you just have a four star item, you know, you fuse it, raise it to five star, bam. Those ones aren't as rare, but we really have no idea, but it definitely is some type of incentive so we'll know more about this probably in the Bankai live stream, which is going to be happening a little under 10 days from right now. So very excited about that. This is pretty much the main thing. This is what we're here to talk about today. Okay. This rerun Safwi, Yodoichi, and Soy Phone banner. Now all around this banner, honestly, is not too bad in terms of it is a nine character banner and you have two technique link slot characters some of you don't have any tech link slot characters and both of them are on this list now we do have the christmas inoue as well as the i think it's spirit society grimjow or um cacao society grimjow i'm spirit society whatever the grimjow the super pot grimjow so we do have two other pot characters for technique aside from these two but these two are pretty rare obviously this kenny super outdated who do you would be a better choice overall but if you don't have either of them then it can help out your account as far as Don Kanoji and Picaro I believe they have a like Reed hollow dodges or something like that but so for now I'm kind of disappointed with Don Kanoji's kit but in game his model and all that stuff is super super fun to play so I would say Don Kanoji is a pretty fun character as far as the Shinsuke and Sonosuke, not very much use for them. Same with this Adionetto and this Zyo. I actually do not have this Adionetto after all these years. But the main two people on this banner uh, is the queen goddess of Flash, Yodoichi. This Safi Yodoichi is an insanely powerful unit. I have went for dupes of her once or twice and was never able to get any additional copies. But that... Uh, that Yodoichi, she has Disabler on any mine character. So as long as she's going up against mine characters, she's going to be afflicting status summons like crazy. And the Soy Phone is really, really good too. So we'll go ahead and take a look at their stats and skills. Boop. So the Yodoichi, she has a weakening on everything. Team Party Stamina Recovery 20%. Uh, four sprinters innately just built in because she's a Yodoichi. She has Marauder also. That is insane. 40 Devastation, Havoc, full stamina damage boost, Frenzy Debilitator, increased status summon chance against mine enemies, ailment reversal, and status ailment spiritual pressure boost 80%. This character is absolutely godly. And right after 6th anniversary Aizen, she is bar none the best heart character in the entire game. So, very, very good character, man. As far as the Soy Phone, she's really good, too. She is a flurry booster. So, uh, let's see here. She does have the barrier with the boost mechanic. And, you know, she does have paralysis and poison. I believe that's poison. Um, Sprinter, guard break, fire resistance. That's for her week of guild quest. No affiliation. 60% nad. 30 strong tech damage, doesn't really matter. She does have a SAR in her kit, which is decent. Uh, an extra 20% normal tech damage to all captains, so that gives her 80 bruiser. She does have poise, multi-barrier enhancer, as well as the debilitator. So she is a very, very powerful unit. I, I think this Soy Phone is the number one melee autoer in the entire game. Very very good okay yeah so she's gonna hit super super hard i have her one of five as well as the yadawichi one of five but here's the thing there's gonna be an incredibly insane banner for this end of month i promise y'all there's gonna be an incredibly incredibly insane banner for end of month my personal thoughts is that it's going to be quilge eburn and Ichigo and that's going to be to start the thousand year blood war like anime right like those are going to be characters that once a thousand year blood war anime starts you're going to see those characters so I really do think that uh, it's the character that I mentioned 
regardless in the month is going to be incredibly hype it's going to be incredibly hype so make sure you guys don't just go all in on this banner make sure you guys give it some time you wait because this banner will be here let me just triple check so september 21st to september 30th so we are 100 percent going to know everything that was talked about in the bankai live stream before this banner ends so make sure you guys make the educated decision and don't just summon for this banner as soon as it drops and i've already had a couple people saying they're about to go all in the five and five this character and i'm trying to warn them that november end of month is more than likely going to be the thousand year blood war that everyone thought was going to be october end of month we were thinking october end of month because we were thinking that the thousand and blower was going to start on like the 22nd of october well it starts on the 10th so with that being said thousand and blow war starting on the 10th of october end of month september is going to last until the 10th like the banner is going to still the main banner will still be there when thousand and blood war debuts october 10th so and then after that you're gonna have the subsequent solo banner so it's not 100 percent confirmed this thousand and blood war for in the month but that is a very strong hunch that i have but i have to go ahead and get this video as soon as this information drops so if you guys appreciate that make sure you guys subscribe turn on post notification because we're going to get it cracking once this bleach stuff comes out and i do have a patreon i'm going to do uh, some unedited anime reactions for Bleach and any other thing that I'm going to do. Uh, Patreon is like, there's no like copyright stuff. So reactions are much easier and you don't have to worry about eventually them getting taken down from YouTube. So I will be, I will have that linked in the description if you guys want to support like that. And uh, yeah, man, I sincerely appreciate you beautiful folks. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Love y'all. I'm out.